and welcome back to Like So Amazing. My name's Sarah. And I'm Jenny. And we are gonna share with you the things that we've made this year so far. So normally I do a monthly makes video, but I just haven't had time to do any filming since we started the shop up. So what we thought we'd do, a bit of a roundup, a bit of a catch up of the things we've made. So I am gonna start with what I'm wearing because it's convenient. So this is the Experimental Space Casey sweater. So I'm gonna insert some clips of me wearing it so you can see it properly, but I've done it in these lovely contrast fabrics. So it's a blue and coral and a coral and blue. And it's got these lovely work pockets. So really interesting details and the contrasting cuffs. And then this really lovely cow neck which I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's finished off with little heart buttons. And then there's a secret button hidden inside so that it just keeps it all nice and warm and cozy. And I've worn it so much. I've worn it to death since I made it and I absolutely love it. I would say it's probably not a particularly very beginner friendly pattern um, because there are some kind of complicated techniques to get your head around, but it's really fab. It's definitely worth doing. So yeah, love this one. So what's your first make of the month? Well, let's go with what I'm wearing as well. And in that case, so this is, it was one of my make nine for the year. So I'm glad that I've ticked one off so early in the year. This is my first Ogden Cami, um, which is a true bias pattern um, available in paper or in PDF. Um, a really nice, simple pattern. You can use up small pieces of fabric. This is my um, Pina Colada, which is behind this up here. It takes less than a meter. Yeah, less if than a meter. If you cut it, right, if you bring the two folds of the fabric into the center, you can yeah. generally or you get can it make out. your facings yeah. from something else as well. So I made a bit of a mistake the first time round. Um, I didn't trust the sizing on the pattern, which I should have done. It's a very true to size pattern. Naughty so Jane. I know I went for my high bust <laughs> measurement um, and then I looked at it, came out at a size 10 and went, that can't be right. Made a 12, it was way too big. So this was my second attempt. Um, I did make the 10. So I think I can probably uh, size down on the next one or maybe just shorten the straps. That might be the next thing to do. I made a second one. Um, third from one. third one, <laughs> yes, after the first one, which is um, in my scraps drawer now. From this beautiful fabric, which I bought a year ago um, from Like So Amazing, and it's been, it's so precious, precious and so beautiful that I didn't want to make something out of it without really trusting the pattern. Um, I only bought a meter, and I got it out of a meter. I did make my back facing from a, a cotton lawn just to kind of save a little bit. Um, but I love this one. Look at how beautiful it is. Mm -hmm. So lovely. And really nice for that cardi as well. Thank you. Another tip with the Ogden. I made the first one according to the instructions that come with the pattern. But with a little bit of Googling, I found the What Katie Sews method. So if you look on her blog, um, you'll find it. We can it. link it below. We can link it. Where she joins the two halves together with the shoulder straps and then does the side seam and the facing in one long seam. That way you can try it on, you can baste your side seams, make sure that the fit is right before you sew it all together. And I found it an easier way of, of working yeah. as well. So there's a good top tip if you're making yourself Definitely. an Ogden. Lovely. So my next make for the month is an old classic wardrobe staple for me. It's the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes. So we had this beautiful pink leopard print jersey come into the shop and I just couldn't resist it and I wanted to make something for Valentine's Day so we actually ended up making kind of matching tops almost um, but yeah I just did the really plain long sleeved Agnes ah, I love it so again I'll put clips in of it being worn but yeah I've been wearing this to death and this fabric is so so unbelievably soft and um, it was out of stock for quite a while but we've just got it back in along with a lot of other new amazing leopard print jerseys. We're kind of obsessed, aren't we? Um, but yes, this is a dream. So, you want to show your matching one? <laughs> matching twinny outfit. This was my Valentine's Day outfit. So I went for our tiny hearts 
French cherry. We're out of the pink, but we do have it in blue. And we also have the pink in a viscous, in a slightly more corally pink. Mm, yeah, which is which lovely. Is gorgeous. Um, so this is an Astoria, Seamwork Astoria. This is one of my tried and tested patterns. I've got a hundred of these things. Mm -hmm. If I ever see uh, a stretch fabric that I like the look of, usually I'm gonna make it up into an Astoria. <laughs> and this was just dead comfy. So I tend to add just a little bit of extra length to mine. I've put a good maybe inch and a half on the bottom of the bodice. And I finished it off with our cuffing as well, which makes it a really quick make. This took me less than an hour to knock that together. So Hooray! love that one. <laughs> So my next make that I'm going to show you is another Agnes <laughs> and I made this to go with the skirt so I'll show you this as an ensemble. It's on Doris, the dress form. Here it is. So if you can see there I've done the ruched sleeves Agnes. Now I've not done this version before but I thought it would go really nicely as an outfit. So I picked up the gorgeous red and black in the skirt and it was perfect perfect match for this fabric so this is an alpstoff organic jersey and i just thought it would look beautiful together so this has been sitting on doris in the window for a couple of weeks now but yeah really really love it the fabric is such beautiful quality and i actually really love these ruched sleeves so yeah i might start putting these on on agnes's from now on um but yes the skirt is something I started last August at the sewing weekender and I pretty much done it all I just hadn't hemmed it and it was one of those things that it got to the end of summer it wasn't kind of suitable to wear anymore so I just kind of left it languishing in a UFO pile but anyway I have now finished it so I finished it with just a white bias trim on the hem and I've had to line it because obviously it's a embroidery on glaze so it's got a lot of holes and kind of see-through so I just lined it with our white cotton poplin now I'm going to see if I can try and get some more of this in since it's been in the window it has sold out um, but it is a really special fabric so I can't wait for it to be summery so that I can wear this ensemble together but yeah I'm gonna pop Doris down now <laughs> And with summer in mind, I thought I'd try, having made a few of my tried and true patterns, I thought I'd try something new. And I went for the Nina Lee Q dress. This was inspired by Beatrice Winter. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you really should. She's amazing. Um, she came to our opening day and she bought some of our cheetah print cotton sateen that I was actually wearing on the day in a different <laughs> guise to make her first Q dress. So we had a little bit of a chat online about the fitting, the sizing. She looked amazing in what she made, so I thought I would give it a go too. So I went for our wishbone viscous, which is a really lovely floaty, but easy to handle viscous. The fitting on this was really, really simple because it's got these little gathered shoulders. All I did, because I've got quite narrow shoulders and funny skinny armpits. Who knew skinny <laughs> armpits was a thing? Um, I just cut down the, the width of the yoke, added some extra gathers. I took a tiny bit out of the center at the back as well, and it fits like a dream. It's so comfortable to wear. You can pop a cardigan and tights and boots, or you can dress it up with a pair of heels. I just love it. This is gonna be the first of many, I think. I think so. And what I love about the Q dress is it looks so different in the different versions mm. because the bodice is quite different. You've got, um, this version's got gathers, and then the other one has darts and you can either do just a strappy version or with the, oh, yeah, the kind of cold, cold shoulder. shoulder bit. Oh, oh. So, Lovely for a wedding yeah, as well. You can really definitely, dress it up. definitely. So yeah, lots of options on that one. Love it. And then my last one, I've been quite prolific this month, really. I think that comes from working in a fabric shop. Everything comes in and you just want to make everything. Another of my um, tried and tested is the Mandy. I love the Tissuti Fabrics Mandy Tea. It is, again, a really quick make. I can make these in under an hour now. I've kind of got them down to a tea. And this one is from our Marl Polka Viscous, which is a really lovely drapey. It would make a lovely Adrienne blouse, actually. Ooh, yes, you've just discovered that one, haven't you? Yeah, because it's got that real lovely kind of bounce to it. I always do a bit of a curved hem at the back, 
which I really like. It covers your bum. <laughs> you can tuck it in as well, or a bit of a nice French tuck at the front. That's a nice like, way to wear it as well. Yeah. But this, for wearing in the shop, for slouching around at home, or going out with a you know nice pair of earrings, it's just perfect. Secret pajamas, but dressy pajamas. So my final make that I'm going to share with you this month, I actually made at the end of December. So I was making this while we were doing the shop up, but it was something I committed to and I really, really wanted to make it. And it is the Tilly and the Buttons Eden coat. So if you haven't seen it, where have you been? But if you haven't seen it, it's the new coat release from Tilly. So here it is in all its glory. You might recognize this lining fabric. So this is the same as the Ogden cami that Jenny made. And I just thought it would work perfectly with this red wool. So it's our washable wool that I've used. We've still got a tiny bit left of it, I think. And I just thought that the red picked up really beautifully on the inside here. I actually lined the sleeves using our pink X designer lining fabric, just because it's nice to have a bit of slip on sleeves where you take them on and off over jumpers and that sort of thing. So yeah, I made the duffel version of the coat rather than the raincoat, just because I thought I'd be more likely to wear that all the time. And I had a ready to wear duffel coat that was very similar that was kind of on its last leg. So it was a real kind of replacement for that. So I used our toggles um, to for the closure. And they come pre-punched, don't they? Yeah, so they're so really easy to sew on. You kind of hand sew them. That's the easiest way of doing it. You're actually putting it on after the coat's been constructed. And I did a zip as well, and it's been keeping me warm and cosy, and I've literally worn it non-stop every, every single every day. day. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, can't rave enough about it. I've done a blog post about it and about the different fabrics we've got in that would be suitable for the pattern. I, oh, kind of changes I made, I lined the pockets. So I used the same fabric to line the pockets as the main lining. I chose to omit the pocket flaps and actually I'm really glad I did because I find just going straight into the pockets is great. It's big enough to fit an iPhone in, your wallet, anything, you know, just that you need to chuck in there. I know you shouldn't put loads in your pockets, but we all do, we all do. But yeah, that's kind of it. So I just, as I said, I made the test version. So I kind of didn't want to make too many changes. I am thinking that I might trim the hood in some fake fur that I've got which is something you can kind of retrofit if you like. But I'm gonna see, I just kind of, oh, I can't deal with working with fake fur at the moment. It just gets everywhere. Furballs. Yeah, literally furballs. But yeah, that is, we, that's it. With all the DIY we've done, yeah. getting this place up and running, actually I'm quite impressed with how much we've made. Yeah, so, I yeah. agree. And it was really nice that once the shop was open to actually get in here and start sewing. Mm. Like I don't sew at home anymore. We no. come in here on a, in our days off. We just I come in. I was here till half ten at night a couple yeah. of nights ago to get my Adrian blouse done. And it's such a lovely space to sew because Definitely. you've got everything on hand and space to move around in. You're not in a cramped spare room or in a corner of a lounge or anything. Yeah. So yeah, love it, love it. So anyway, that is. I think that's it for today, isn't I it? I think so. Yeah. What so, are you working on next? Oh goodness. <laughs> I've got a few things in mind. I think it's more, for me, it's more about kind of getting some separates for the for wearing in the shop. Yeah. So I've been wearing a lot of my Nina Lee Portobello trousers. So I think, I think I kind of want to make mm -hmm. another pair of those. Yeah. But I've committed to three more pattern tests this month. But they're all going to be fab. So I probably won't be able to share them with you for a little while, but they're going to be good ones. Mm. Good ones. And I've been doing quite a lot of fast sewing, I guess you could say, um, this month, because I just wanted to use all the fabric. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of committing to slowing down a little bit this month, and I'm, again, going to tick off one of my Make Nine, and I'm going to go for some lander pants. I love the landers. Love the style. I'm very much a kind of high-waisted, wide-leg yeah. kind of gal, so I think they'll be quite good for me. So I've got myself some nice stretched denim, and I'm going to give that a go. So watch this space. Right then, we will leave it there and we will see you again very soon. So don't forget to like the video if you did and don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be the first to hear about any new videos that we post.
We'll see you very soon. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.